Hello, this is Emily Zahner. This project is for the redevelopment of the Sacred Heart Church located in 1609 North Summit Avenue here in Springfield, Missouri. How we started this project was through research and data collection. First, we studied precedents of other churches that have been remodeled to see what was done well and what was not. The next task was to research things about the site and about the church itself. It is a historic church, so we needed to keep that in mind. This helped us understand how weather, pedestrians, location, and scale could impact our design. Finally, and most importantly, we conducted an in-person data collection with the parishioners of the church to see what would be most important to them. I used this information that they gave me, as well as my own conclusions, to signify what the most important design solutions could be that should be met. This program breaks down these solutions and what I felt were most important into the new design of the church. An issue that was brought up quite often was circulation. I wanted to improve the traffic flow of not only the parking, but also the halls themselves. They were kind of tight and had a lot of jog out areas that I needed to fix. I also wanted to provide more comfort in this being passive ventilation and also adding a lot more natural light. I also thought these two together could promote more participation. And by also promoting more participation, I felt I should add more open space and more multi-purpose space that could invite people in and maybe a more recognizable typology so people would want to join the parish and the people that were already at the parish would want to remain. This is the program of the floor plan that I have changed. Originally, the areas where circulation happened were a lot more narrow, so I made some clearances in the south side of the church. Also in the areas up at the top, there were a lot of education rooms where I have added an addition for the upper education rooms for adult classes. Whereas these um, in the south were intended to be for lower education because of a safety aspect. They were in the heart of the church, also close to where the offices are located currently. I also added more storage in certain areas where this was uh, very important to the parishioners to have an adequate amount of storage. In addition, I expanded the uh, parish hall so there was more area for social gathering. And I also uh, removed the sacristy from the north and added it to the top of the historic church so that they have direct access from the church into the rest of the um, circulation space to create a more fluid transition between the spaces. Also, this creates a gathering space after mass ends. Here on the left, it shows the exits and entrances to the floor plan. The church has access, two access points at any point to be able to exit the church. There's also a more um, a clear circulation process between the spaces. There's security for the classrooms, as I said before, because of this, and the traffic flow is also more systematic for parking here on the right. I expanded the parking, which is actually something very important to the parishioners was to alter that. So in addition to adding more physical spaces, also the traffic flow is more systematic to avoid blockage and uh, get parishioners in and out in a timely manner. Comfort was an important aspect to me in this project as well. On the east facade, there is a curtain wall that opens up through French windows and allows air throughout the day. Air, air can flow throughout the entire building because of operable windows in the offices and classrooms. It can also reduce energy consumption and cost for the church. This creates a more favorable atmosphere and more favorable physical comfort level. I also added a overhang and mover system across the east facade to create comfort during certain times of the year. In the summer, there is more shade, and in the winter, there is more direct sunlight to be brought in. 
Here on the right indicates the areas that I have added natural light opportunities, such as skylights for the hallways near the classrooms, uh, glass facade on the east, and also skylights for the parish hall that can let more light in, more natural light in throughout the day and reduce the amount of energy consumption that's needed. The wood bracing acts as benches along the east facade and also um, the repetition and modularity of the facade as well as this functional windows creates a public face for the church that is in, designed with intention, can bring more of the community and new people into the parish so that there's more uh, intermingling between the community. The orange areas indicate where circulation is prioritized as space to be utilized. The corridor is designed to be enjoyed rather than simply walk through as a pathway to the next room. Here I think is where it's really improved the area that can provoke community togetherness and can also gather people together without reason. You can sit on these benches and have a conversation with somebody as well as enter in the next room, which is the parish hall where more community gatherings are intended to be held. I also added the addition of the courtyard on the right that provokes even more of this community intermingling. You can also see this through the benches from the east facade as well as almost an extension from the parish hall. So this is where those two ideas converge together. The repetition of the wood wood louvers and the windows is in reference to the architectural language found in many church historically. The heights of the building creates a hierarchy of importance and a balance along the face. The purple areas signaled here shows the main entry, which is an important aspect of the church. The parish hall, which really shows the sense of community and also the columns and louvers where the courtyard is. The materiality of the church also brings the architectural language from the historic church into the addition through the stucco and the color. The white oak is a locally found lumber that provokes a more sustainable design while also acknowledging the context. Overall, this design I felt addressed the needs and the wants of the community directly while also providing long-term solutions to the quality of the experience overall and through spatial organization and more open in a natural atmosphere.